Hi guys, welcome into today's money making tips. Today I'm going to be reviewing a app that allows you to sign in to different social networking services with multiple different accounts. So you may not realize this, but every time you log on to Facebook or any of these social networks or any website where you need to log in, you are basically being tracked by that website. So the website is getting a copy of some unique information about your computer, which you may not even know, like there's a unique ID inside your CPU which is going to be tracked by every single website that you have an account on. And this is all going on in the background without you even knowing it. And that's the reason why if you go onto Facebook and you try and create more than one account, for example, you're going to find that that account is blocked, that you get all sorts of verification notifications, and have difficulty in creating more than one account. So this is a bit sneaky because these websites don't even tell you that they're collecting all this information about you so even if you are not in internet marketing you may want to stop this going on you may not feel great about these websites fingerprinting you and taking all this information about your computer away from you without asking so let's take a look at a tool that allows you to do this and I've used quite a few different tools for doing this I might review the other ones but things change very quickly in this area there's loads of new techniques that are being used the whole time so it's important to get the most up-to-date tool that works and I'm going to show you now the best tool right now in December 2017 that people are using in internet marketing for doing this So the tool you need to find is called multiloginapp.com and this is what the website looks like. So the first thing to do when you go onto this is you need to download the software. So the software is a Windows, I use Windows, I think it works on other systems as well. But when you download the software you click on it here, install it, and then it will literally come in on your computer into the start menu. So you click on it here, and while you're on the website, have a look at the blog because there's a lot of information that you should be reading basically. Because if you're going to be using this for creating multiple Facebook accounts or Instagram accounts, there's all sorts of little tricks that you need to be aware of otherwise you might find that all your hard work is eradicated if you don't necessarily know all these little details so this blog is great it's a good way to stay up to date with the latest issues and also they're releasing a new tool called Mimic and you can sign up for the better for this tool by clicking on this blog post and entering your email in the page so also do that as well when you download this tool because this tool itself doesn't include Mimic. So when you open the tool up you can see that it initially shows you a list of your profiles so what you need to do is add a new profile now I'm just using the free version of this tool but if you pay a small fee which is I'll just check what that is you can actually get more profiles. So we'll just create a default profile. Now always use Chrome because there aren't many browsers um, that use Chrome. There aren't many of these stealth browser tools that use Chrome because Chrome is a very difficult tool for programmers to integrate with. So websites, if you use any other browser than Chrome they automatically get very suspicious because they think you you make the probability of you using one of these stealth tools is higher. So always use Chrome. And then you can add a proxy. So I'm not using a proxy right now, but 
obviously if you're an IM you know all about proxies it's very important to use a proxy if you're using it for IM purposes and you can also change this I wouldn't recommend fiddling around with this stuff click save and then uh, you will obviously need to verify your email at this point so we'll just do that quickly and whilst I'm doing that I'll just show you the pricing of this tool so it's free with a very small number of profiles for thirty dollars a month you upgrade to get the full plan and for an extra twenty dollars fifty nine dollars a month you get all these extras here All right. so what I'll do now is just load up my email and so when you do sign up you'll get a confirmation email so click on the confirmation so that's my confirmation for the testing so click on the confirmation okay and now we should be able to use this so maybe we're going to have to o reopen it Well, for some reason, I have actually just activated my email, as you guys have seen. But, maybe it's this one. Let's try it again. Okay, is it going to work? Okay. So then you click on the Chrome icon, allow access to the firewall. And here we are. So, what we've now got is we've got a Chrome, as you can see, we're using Chrome, but this version of Chrome it has a different fingerprint to the default one that I'm using on my browser. So, just to verify this, click on go to this website, Am I Unique? If you go to this website, amiunique.org, and there's a few other websites like this, it will actually show you your unique browser fingerprint. So what we'll do is we'll just compare now the browser fingerprint from this one, multi-login app, to the fingerprint from the default one. So my default Windows fingerprint from Chrome is just loading up and I'm loading them at both at the same time. So you can see here the full fingerprint and you can see that they are different so for starters this one the OS is different here yeah WOW64 compared to that and the Chrome version is different and this is very important the canvas string this is another thing that is used and if we go down when string enough we can actually see that that one is the same so that one hasn't changed but don't forget these are all considered together yeah so if a couple of these are the same it's not gonna mean that it hasn't worked so again that one's different do not track NC compared to here so you can immediately see that some things have definitely been changed <coughs> and if you click on that icon it will actually save that profile down and again you can change a lot of things about your profile on this page here and if you click on zero fingerprints then you can even make even more changes so in this case if we click on mask canvas then if we go back to that browser 
if we go back to this website and take another fingerprint computer's just a bit overloaded right now. So if we do go back and check out this fingerprint, then you will see that the fingerprint is changed. But for whatever reason, it's not loading because right, I think it's that was the problem. So just whilst this is loading this has been a review of the multi login app. You can get it at multiloginapp.com. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. And don't forget to subscribe to get these daily updates. And yeah, we've got. Right, well, that hasn't worked, but subscribe, get these daily updates and see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.